morning everyone and welcome back to vlogmas if you guys are new here hello i'm keaton so today's video is going to be a daily vlog if you guys aren't caught up you guys should definitely go and check out my week in my lives i upload super long week in my life so that you guys can watch them while you're doing your makeup laundry cleaning wrapping presents whatever it is so you guys can go over to my week in my life playlist check out all the vlogmas videos but today's video is going to be a daily vlog because i told you guys that i would be doing daily vlogs leading up to christmas and i was not really realizing how close that was and now I'm like so freaked out that Christmas is so close but it is currently 9 a.m and I just went downstairs and I made a quick little coffee me and my mom are gonna go to a couple of stores and we're gonna go check out a few things that I want to get people for Christmas I also really want to run to Brandy Melville here they have a new location in Houston and like I haven't been in a minute so that's what's happening this morning I'm going to record my makeup and I'm going to do it for Instagram so I'm gonna upload a quick little like 10 minute makeup routine on Instagram I can't obviously film it on the vlog while I'm doing it on Instagram so I will show you guys my makeup when it's done I just did my makeup I really really love it actually but I'm wearing this outfit. I am wearing this plain black t-shirt and then I'm wearing these asymmetrical jeans and loafers. I think my mom is gonna hate my outfit. I'm almost positive. I feel like she's gonna be like, what are you actually wearing? So I'm gonna go downstairs and ask her. Should I look like you in, in the, the 80s? <laughs> in the 80s. Yes. Yeah, so Do you can. like this outfit? Yeah. <laughs> It really does. Though. It looks Isn't like that cute? picture I sent you. I literally look like you, and I the have one that I, sent where I have your blazers in that in the closet. Uh, let's draw and I was like, oh my god, I should put one of her old blazers on with this outfit, cause like, well, I had the shirt untucked, but with the shirt untucked, it's a little like it's a little sloppier. I like it like that. Do you know what I'm saying? But then when I had it tucked in with my hair short, I was like, <laughs> Hello, is on. that too much? But then I was like, it's either that or a claw clamp. So I can either put a claw clamp in. This is the outfit I have decided on. The lighting is so horrible. <laughs> I literally look like Princess Diana right now. Like this is, I'm pretty sure, maybe an outfit she wore. It's Out just the room. broad. <laughs> with all the stuff everywhere. This. This is the final outfit. I literally feel like, what year is this? The 90s? Um, 91 probably, 1991. 91. The only thing is, is like the arms are like, <laughs> so You can't they tell. And the shoulders are so broad, like this is literally Princess it's, I Diana. like it. And she's just going on a walk. <laughs> but I like it, it's very cute. I don't have a jacket, so. This is my mom's old blazer that she found. Where'd you find this? In storage, in the attic? Yeah, in the attic. In the attic. We probably need to go get it dry cleaned and ironed because it's a little bit wrinkly and stuff, but it's actually really cute. It's like a To wool. like style. It's like very cute. Very we are taking a little Christmas shopping break. Mom's here and we ordered these. What are they? They're fried spring rolls. Pork and chicken. Pork and chicken. Fried and spring you rolls. Basically, you get a lettuce. A you want to wrap that? Yeah, you want to wrap it. <gasps> Put a little bit of this in there. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do that. You're not? I don't know. What is that? Just veggies it's just or lettuce something? and veggies. Oh, yeah. I need to take a photo of this. This looks so good. <laughs> that looks so good. So All right. This is our whole meal um what is this first of all please describe this is like chicken curry chicken curry and this is a pork noodle bowl pork noodles this is like what i need to eat right here this pork looks so good this curry looks so Look good cashews in here you better not eat them you know i like cashews <laughs> I am home and I am so tired, but I'm gonna show you guys the two things that I bought today at Brandy. So I bought this little long sleeve. This is the long sleeve. It's just like this really cute little chocolatey brown long sleeve. That's all it is. My boobs look a little, whew. It's really cute. It's like not super cropped. It's like a good length. These jeans are so baggy because I've been wearing them for days, but I think it's really cute and very simple to wear with like jewelry and stuff. 
And then I only bought one other thing, which is this little, like, sweater vest. And I'm kind of sad because it's really cute. And they had other colors, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. So, or, like, if it was going to fit. So, I only bought one. But it's so cute. It's, like, a nice little cropped hemline right here with my jeans. I think it's really cute and fun. You could pair it with, like, a little jacket. Obviously, you can put something underneath it. But I really, really like these. So, I wish I would have got some other colors in this. Now I am like, oh, ow. Now I am like really, really tired. I don't know. Just driving in the car and stuff like that made me so sleepy. So I'm changing into sweats and I'm going to lay in my bed. I might take like an hour nap or something. I don't know. I'm still deciding. But we are having um, a gift exchange tonight because Megan and Benito will not be spending Christmas with us. So we're going to be giving them their gifts tonight. So they're going to come over. We have dessert and dinner and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be really cute. A little early Christmas celebration. But I feel like I really really need a nap so i'm gonna attempt to take one the family is here we are having our gift early gifts early christmas with megan and benito they're all downstairs my mom ordered some olive garden salad and breadsticks and sean made lasagna so it's gonna be very yummy here's the family I can't there's more Look at this cake. Yeah, my mama. This <laughs> gingerbread man is so crazy looking. All right. There's the lasagna on top of the toaster. Bread chips. Mom, shake that salad. Get it. We're all waiting for it. So. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You should have brought I had whole milk yesterday. Oh my gosh. For the first time in forever. My stomach looks so bad. It actually wasn't even whole. It was 2%. But I can't even. I was not. I was not. Well, I wanted to. Was your stomach like dead? Rock and like you're dying. Well, that's like. What's it called? Hocus Pocus. Like I used to be like so terrified. Hocus Pocus is good though. No, no, no. It's so good. But like. But like the graphics. Yes. Like that cat. I'm like. That's that, no, I literally hear this spot is like number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew King really liked it. I actually, uh, I never. Oh, I love it. So I thought that I was like there. just hearing so, her little pencil on that conversation. I used to love. I used to like, love it. The opening it's scene, the is, yes, like, like, and like she has that magnifying glass and she yes. has like, all that stuff and she ties yes, it. Yeah, she has like that really. Oh, I'm oh, so God. scared. Yeah. She's so excited. Open it first. You open that one first. Open that one first. Open it. Open it. Go. No, the little. No, no, no. This one. This one. The little one. It's a really good one. What do you think it is? <laughs> oh! <laughs> is that some mold? Build a fort. Go hit your orange. What do you this orange? What do you Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. I, oh, my hair's looking crazy. I didn't really get to end it much last night because last night we had our gift exchange and then I was so exhausted and I just went to sleep. So sorry the lighting is a little bit weird. I just uh, made some coffee. I cleaned up my room a little bit as you guys saw. And so I'm feeling really ready for the day. It is Tuesday. And so I'm just feeling like 
really refreshed last night. I journaled a lot. I wrote down like a couple affirmations and uh, yesterday was the great conjunction. So a lot of people were saying, you know, it's like a really good day to write down what your goals are for 2020 and things like that. I do that often or not 2020, 2021, but I do that often anyway. A lot of times at night, if I'm feeling anxiety or whatever i just like write down things that like i want to let go of or grow from so i do that almost every day anyway so i wrote down extra ones yesterday just in case but yesterday i wrote down a lot of stuff in my journal which i feel like has kind of set me up to be in a better mood just because my anxiety comes and goes so i feel like today i'm feeling really good about it like i'm feeling Fine. There's really not much going on today. Um, I'm probably going to watch a little bit of Real Housewives while I do a lot of Twin Flames work. So we're kind of moving everything that we're wanting to do going into 2021. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Like we're kind of planning out what each month is going to look like, what drops we have planned. So today I'm going to try and figure out a lot of that kind of stuff. Me and Nat will hop on calls. My mom gets home later today. I think she's like running errands right now. But I have some last minute Christmas gifts that I need to wrap and I'm really excited. I did combine these two days because as you guys can see, um, it's really hard to like get a lot of content because you guys know when you go home for the holidays and you're just with family, like most of the time I'm literally sitting around eating like cookies and watching TV. So it's very difficult to get enough content in there for like a little bit of a longer vlog. I don't want to upload 10 minute vlogs. So I hope you guys are liking this vlog today. My mom gets home later and I'm thinking I really want to ask her a couple questions. Like I was watching Emma Chamberlain's video uh, called like my mom exposes me or something. And basically she like asked her mom questions about like opinions on certain things. And so I wanted to kind of come up with my own version of questions and ask my mom how she feels about them. So I'm very excited about that. Also, my hair is looking a little bit brassy and yellow. I didn't bring any purple shampoo with me here to Texas. So it's every time I wash it, it's just getting more and more brassy, which is so sad. I don't know why I didn't pack the things that I needed, but here we are. Anyway, I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to get my laptop out, start to do some Twin Flames work, and I will keep you guys updated when I finish. I just filmed a reel. I filmed kind of like a little tutorial on how to do a slick bun, how I normally do it, and I, ha I don't know if I'm going to upload it yet because... I don't know if the footage is good. I'm going to edit it, but right now I have a meeting. Basically changed into this little brandy top I got yesterday because I want to take a few Instagram photos. If I'm going to do my makeup and my hair, I'm going to take some photos. First, I have a meeting that I'm going to go to. So I've got my laptop set up here. So I'm ready to go. Oh, it's literally starting right now. So got a blast. But we did want to just kind of figure all that kind of stuff out before we go into 2021. Obviously, we really love working with you guys. So we do still want to work with you guys. We just wanted to know what all the service actually like entails before we commit to anything or so we can really think about it. I just had an hour and like 40 minute long meeting. It took forever, but I'm downstairs now to interrogate my mother and ask her a few questions that I took from Emma Chamberlain's video. So let's see what she has to say for yeah, herself. Like, no, you can't no, know them I'm beforehand. Shirt on. Well, you can't know them beforehand. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I was watching a, uh, Emma Chamberlain video today and she was asking her mom these questions and I was like, oh, I should ask her. I should ask you these questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, first question. You have to be honest on all of these. Okay, first question. Um, when am I most frustrating? Oh, these are going to be all about you and I have yes. to answer them. Yes, like you have to be honest. Like what Like what was your least favorite hair color on me? Like things oh, like that. God. So okay. what? when am I most frustrating? <laughs> Anna's just looking at me like, oh. <laughs> She knows the answer. Knows. When am I most frustrated? I think you're the most frustrating when you don't listen to like reasonable, like logical things. I don't listen to logic. Like the logic whenever you like, like, it, like you get really worked up, like have anxiety and you get really stressed out and stuff. But like, I'm trying so to I say like, but that's really not that bad. Or like, that's this or like. Or I'll say, but this will be better. And you're like, I don't want that to happen. Or whatever. Like I you just, just have you've to... already worked yourself up. So like, you just need to like vent. But I feel like you're telling me because I need to like 
help you no, get better. I'm not. But like sometimes it like <laughs> so doesn't that, make sense. That's you know what I mean? Like I, from my perspective, I'm like you're being yes. like that is not logical. Like your brain. Like, yes, but it makes a lot of sense in my brain because when you have anxiety, you just take a different thought pattern. Yeah. So you just would never have those thoughts, but I do. So it's frustrating because like I don't. <laughs> You don't understand so why to, I don't understand why. No, because like I don't have, so I don't, I can't like empathize with that because yes. I don't do that. Like I'm more like yes. a logical person. Like I'm not going to get really worked up about something. I'm just going to be like, oh well. And you're just going to move on. Move on. Okay. What was my least, what's been my, your least favorite hair color I've had? Probably before you ever did anything to it when it was just <gasps> like. My natural, <laughs> my natural hair. <laughs> My natural hair with my with my clip-in extensions. I don't know. You had it like blonde before, but it was like yellowy. I don't like <laughs> yellow blonde hair. I just don't like it. And I really, like it more like. And you never white. told me. No, I did. <laughs> but it was one of those. Probably you were like. No. no. Okay. When am I most fun? Am I ever fun? <laughs> when the am I most fun? First question should have been yes or no, and then. You're most fun when we're like on a trip or we're going on a trip or something because it's like you're not really worried about like work and like all that yeah. other stuff. So you're more like, oh, let's go here, let's go there. You're pretty much like on like just vacation. Vacation or like we always have the most fun when it's like that. Like we're going on a trip. To do and it could be like work like related. Yeah. Maybe. But like if there's no pressure on you to like perform or like be a certain yes. way, then it's so much easier. Yeah. And more fun. Okay, do you actually like Twin Flames? Yes, I love it. Do you really? I really love it. If there is a piece that's your least favorite, what is it? That you're not a fan of? The um, <laughs> shorts. Because I don't like shorts. <gasps> <laughs> like any of the sweat shorts, I'm just not a fan. You're not a you're not Because I always I love the sweatpants. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I'm I'm not a big fan <laughs> of the find your flames, like find your flame sweats. They You're were not. really like they were just like they're really baggy. They're really baggy on the bottom. You like the so new ones better? The new ones are like the best. <laughs> like no, they are. I've been wearing them for days. <laughs> Me too. And the material, the other ones it's are like different. thin. It's and a like different material. Like longer. Yeah, and it's you a have whole to... different like structure. Yeah. Okay, tell me a time that I embarrassed you. Oh. oh. <laughs> Well, she knows. it was embarrassing, but then I became used to it when you try out for the mascot. Because I remember, like <laughs> me and my confessing. no, she me and so my me and my friend, like she was saying, she was like, "Oh, mom, this is so cool! Like, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try out to be like the high, the junior high mascot." And I was like, no, you're not. Like, I was literally like, no, you're she not. Was mortified. I was really mortified because in what, it was the same, but like when I was in school, like it was like. Really weird. Not and like the thing to do. Like, I mean, it was a little odd and like. Normally the mascot is like a very strange individual. <laughs> Sorry to all the mascots. I was a mascot, so I and can she was say a that. Strange individual. So. <laughs> I just didn't think, I think I didn't realize she was a strange individual. So I was thinking like. <gasps> <laughs> like you're not that person, but she was. You're like, but no, I was really ever... like. I remember talking to Jen. I don't even know what to do. Like she I'm wants so to try out. I'm like, this is embarrassing or whatever. And then she was like, if she does, if she tries out and she makes it, we're gonna be cheering right along for her the whole time. And I was like, okay. And then you were like, I have to try out. And I was like, oh my god, like you could actually try out for the mascot, and not make it. <laughs> That'd be even more embarrassing. And then every time. We would go to the games and we were in the stands and all the cheerleaders would be there, which were like all your best friends yeah. and all of our friends and stuff. And I would be like, yeah, like whatever. And then every time the parents and sister would be like, oh, which one's your daughter? <laughs> and it would be like, I mean, that it. It would be like, that's her. That's actually so embarrassing. No, I'm every scary. single time. <laughs> Like we would we'd go to the parade and y'all would ride in the parade. But like you did like a good job as like a mom. parade and you're like on the back of the float and like and I would be waving and people would be like, oh, where's your daughter? And it would be that longhorn. Well, you did a good job as you a mom because I never knew that you were embarrassed. Mm -hmm. But I also wasn't embarrassed because like it really wasn't weird. 
<laughs> okay. Not to support your dreams. <laughs> so, so this kind of goes off of that. If you were my age, would we be friends? <laughs> no. I don't know. I think that you're a hard person to be to friends be with? friends with. Not not once you're a friend, but you're a hard person to get to you be get friends to be with. Friends. So like, I don't know that you would like let me be your friend. You know, and what I, I mean? don't know like, if you, you would just... work that hard to try and be my friend. Yeah. Well, maybe you would, because like, if people don't like you, you're like. Yeah, that bothers me. So I would be like, why is she not my friend? Because she should love me. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, you don't like yeah. a lot of people in your circle. So I'm it's like, like, I don't really know if we would be friends because you might be like. Get away. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Has there been a time you've lied about me being cute when I really wasn't? <laughs> and she's going to say <laughs> the tea. Like my whole childhood, probably. I don't remember. I mean, like, looking I'll, back. No, there has to have been a time. You your baby. <laughs> but like at the time, I wasn't like. Oh, she's really not cute. I don't. I don't. No, think. like a time where you really were like, "This is crazy. She looks crazy, but she thinks it's cute." And like, I'm gonna just let her. I mean, uh, probably a lot of times in your. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, not you cute, like as. Like, but like what yeah. your style was and stuff, always, your style has always been like way off than other people <laughs> and I'm a little more like the norm. Like, I mean, yeah. I like fashion and stuff, but I'm not going to be You're out there like with purple hair, new. like just walking around when everyone's yeah. staring at me. So I'm not going to do that. So yeah. a lot of times probably I was like, oh, but then people what would be sharing? like, that's cute. And so I was like, so okay. you just accepted me. <laughs> Okay, rate my hygiene out of 10. 10 being the best. <laughs> Aren't these the best questions? You're like, like do you smell, smell my armpits? armpits? Wait, like every part? Like, <laughs> like overall probably hygiene, like, 10 being the best. Probably like a 6. <laughs> it's not the worst. But it could be a lot could better. Could be a lot better. Like the teeth brushing. I mean, I'll just be like, you didn't brush your teeth. You just smell it. Yeah, I always tell you that. I'll just be like, your teeth are not brushed. I would brush. give me like a four. Yeah, I would, I would say. I honestly, I think because I know myself, I really would give myself like a seven or eight. Because I know what I take care of. But there are things. Sometimes I don't put deodorant on. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I don't brush my teeth. And I that's go, what we see. We I go, see the we don't see the days that you do brush them. <laughs> yeah. I did brush them today. I can tell. Can you tell they're hurting? Yeah. Okay, what do we have in common? Common quality. What do you I mean, we, we have, have a lot of like our beliefs are a lot in common. Like usually if I cuz we talk about that a lot, so usually if I'm you we don't usually like disagree in that area. Okay, last question. If you were my age and you were a guy, would you date me? Yes, I would. Would I be a good girlfriend? I think like you would be a very ten. good girlfriend. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You would date I me? I think you care about people. Like I said, if you're in your... I'm not saying I'm not. I'm just... Inner circle. And I think you treat Brandon good. I, like I mean, I think for the most part. I mean, if he can deal with like the... The most frustrating, the most frustrating <laughs> thing. Then he's good. If he can deal with dating someone with no logic, then <laughs> then it'll work out just fine. Irrational behavior. Irrational behaviors. Then it's fine. Well, that's all I have for you today. That's all. Was that entertaining? Yeah. For you? <laughs> I enjoyed it. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. You guys can hit the red button down below. If you guys want to stay subscribed, it would mean so, so much to me so you guys can see all of the rest of my Christmas videos. I am going to be posting on what I got for Christmas and all that kind of stuff, so I'm very excited. But thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.